of Scarl the Drummer by Lord Dunsany. When Menayud Sushai had made the gods and Scarl, Scarl made a drum and began to beat upon it that he might drum for ever. Then, because he was weary after making of the gods, and because of the drumming of Skarl, did Mena Yud Sushai grow drowsy and fall asleep. And there fell a hush upon the gods when they saw that Mena rested, and there was silence on Pegena save for the drumming of Skarl. Skarl sitteth upon the mist before the feet of Mena Yud Sushai, above the gods of Pegena, and there he beateth his drum. Some say that the worlds and the suns are but the echoes of the drumming of Skarl, and others say that they be dreams that arise in the mind of Mena because of the drumming of Skarl, as one may dream whose rest is troubled by sound of song. But none knoweth, for who hath heard the voice of Mena Yud Shashai, or who hath seen his drummer? Whether the season be winter, or whether it be summer, whether it be morning among the worlds, or whether it be night, Skarl still beateth his drum, for the purposes of the gods are not yet fulfilled. Sometimes the arm of Skarl grows weary, but still he beateth his drum, that the gods may do the work of the gods, and the worlds go on. For if he cease for an instant, then Mena Yud Sushai will start awake, and there will be worlds nor gods no more. But when at the last the arm of Skarl shall cease to beat his drum, silence shall startle Pagana like thunder in a cave, and Mena Yud Sushai shall cease to rest. Then shall Skarl put his drum upon his back and walk forth into the void beyond the worlds, because it is the end, and the work of Skarl is over. There may arise some other god whom Skarl may serve, or it may be that he shall perish. But to Skarl it shall matter not, for he shall have done the work of Skarl.